Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is one of my favorite is four leaf clover bread buns. These tasty little bread buns are shaped like four leaf clovers and they are also good to have on its own with a nice boiler of soup or just to grab and go. So if you're interested, let's get started. So what we're going to start with first is one cup of warm water, one teaspoonful of yeast. You can go fast, rising or traditional. Toss it on into the water. And two teaspoonfuls of white sugar. Toss it on in and then stir it all there. So we got three cups of all-purpose flour and you could use flour of choice. I'm only going to be putting in about two cups into the bowl first. And then I'm going to be putting in a half a teaspoonful of sea salt, but you could use table salt if you wish. And just toss that around. I'm going to be using one large egg. I'm just going to tap it. Break it into a separate bowl first and just mix it together. We're going to be also using one tablespoonful of butter or margarine. Could be a little bit more than a tablespoonful, that's fine. Toss the egg into that and stir that around. So after you let your yeast proof for about five minutes, pour it all into the bowl and then toss in your egg and butter. So now we're gonna mix this together. Just bring in all of the flour from the sides until it's all mixed in together, like this. So then take all the flour from the sides of the bowl, bring it down, and then the extra cup of flour, because I said, three cups and we put two to start one to to bring it all together mix it first for two to three minutes with your wooden spoon or your mixer until all the ingredients is coming together like this and then gradually start tossing in some extra flour and bring that in So when your flour and your dough starts to get a little bit harder to move like this, then it's time to use your hand. Just again, moving all the flour from the sides and taking it off the spoon. So we'll get working on that. So another dusting of flour. We're just going to push the dough downward folding it in, flipping it over, and working it inward by kneading it like this. Adding extra flour. Now you can do this with your mixer, with I guess the hook, and bring it all together. And just, when you get to this stage, Take it out of, or take it off that oak, and then work it with your hands just to get everything blended together. So pretty much what we're doing here now is just working this dough and then forming it into a ball to get it ready to rise. So that's pretty much all you need to do there because we're doing the same as what you would do when you're making your bread. You're just working your dough and giving it um, probably two to three minutes mixing time. Then you're going to be kneading, kneading it and pulling it together and that's a couple of minutes. So all in total probably five to seven minutes doing the mixing stage. So now what we're going to do is get it ready to start rising. So pretty much the same thing again, working the dough inward, taking on all the extra flour that's on your bowl 
and then flipping it over. Of course, I'm doing the sign of cross, putting the extra flower over the top, and then I'm going to do a, a little opening just to help aerate it a bit so that it helped the rising process. Now I'll tell you how long. Okay, so I just want to get some of that dough off my ends. So pretty much now what we're going to do, we're going to cover the dough with a piece of parchment paper or you can use your lid from previous videos. You see that I got that big bowl with the lid and then with a nice towel. I'm going to put mine in the oven with the light on only of course and put and set the timer to 30 minutes and the 30 minutes on the 30 minutes mark I'll take it out and I'll show you what we're going to do okay so now our dough for our four leaf clover bread buns is risen enough I'm going to show you now what we're going to do next so what we're going to need is a muffin pan like this and have it pre-greased and of course our dough is risen enough it's just uh, the perfect amount and all you need to do is cut off little pieces like this now if you own one of those food weights you'll put it on and what we're going to need is a point a 0 0.45 ounces and it's on ounces there now and you can just weigh it if you want to and get the amount so it's saying 32 I'll add a little bit more so what we're doing is just making little small pieces you could weigh it like that or you can just judge that it's just going to be small pieces like this I'm going to show you now how to get them into your pan you need four in each muffin pan and when I say four in each muffin pan, I mean muffin cup like this. So you, it's going to represent a clover. And we'll show you that as it goes. So of course, these make about 16 uh, bread buns, four leaf clover bread buns. And if you want them bigger, it'll be less, of course. But you'll see that they'll just be the perfect size. So I'm going to continue on putting these there. Again, uh, 0.45 ounces, which is just about the size as this. And that's all. So when you're making these tasty little... Um, four leaf clover bread buns don't deflate your dough keep your dough risen like that because we're only doing the one rise on um, in the pan and the one rise of course in um, one rise in the bowl and one rise in the pan have a little bit extra flour in your bowl just to touch this because it might be a little tiny bit sticky so pretty much that's all you would need to do there. Just fold it in under and put it in to make four little balls in each cup. Now I've been trying to get to this recipe for a while because we've had many requests. And of course it's not that it's a lot of work, but of course you know you're making all of these tiny little pieces of dough where you you can just roll up one put it in you'd have a bread bun and call it a day but this is this is nice this is nice we used to use these years ago or make them if um, we had a family wedding and years ago we'd serve cold plates and I'll share that recipe with you up in the top right hand corner on how to make cold plates if you don't know and that's just a makeup of salads and cold cuts um, and of course having a, a bread bun on the side. We also like to serve these little four leaf clover bread buns with a soup, an homemade soup. Uh, because it's years ago my parents and of course our elders would say it just fills you more because it gives you that to soak up the juice and of course I hope, I'm hope that I'm making you hungry here today because I'm surely making Raymond hungry just thinking about these. I can picture a yeah. nice bowl of 
pea soup yeah. and one of those little buns on the side. I don't think it'll be one, though. Do you butter. think it'll be one? Oh, Maybe more than no, one. No, well, we'll yeah. start with one. <laughs> start with yeah. one you know he's not going to only have good. one so pretty much that's all you need to do I won't show you all, all of them um, making each one but uh, I'll give you another little glance at what they look like in the muffin pan so as you can see you just fill them all out like that and pretty much all we're going to do then is put them back into the oven with the light on and let them rise for a little bit probably for about 20 minutes you don't need any longer than that because they're going to rise again in the pan when they're baking and you don't want them to come up too high to have the, to that nice look so that's what we'll do now we'll just put them in to get them rising. And I'll show you what that looks like. Before I do that, I won't get carried away. Melt a little tiny bit of butter or oil and just put over the top of each one of these tiny little four leaf clover bread buns. And then after, I'm just gonna quickly do that. After, cover them, cover them again with your parchment paper and your towel because you want to keep it warm even if you're putting it in in the oven on uh, with the light on just the light of course just to get that little bit of warmth in there especially in winter time is a little bit cooler in your home and then like you said for about 20 minutes and then i'll show you what they look like okay so our bread buns, uh, four leaf clover bread buns are uh, risen enough to put in the oven. I'm going to show you closer what that looks like and then all we need to do is just put them in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes to bake but I'll show you what they look like. So that's all you need. You don't need to let them rise up over the pan because now when they go in the oven and the heat starts to get in them, they're going to rise that a little bit more up over. Lucky for us, I got some made here in advance and I'm going to show you what they look like. Our house smells absolutely amazing here because I was after doing some chicken soup so we can enjoy these delicious four leaf clover buns. Now this one that I got here is made a day ago and of course I put it in this nice bag so that I could freeze them or take out as I want them and all you got to do is rewarm them. So let's come in closer and I'm going to show you what they look like. So now this is what they look like of course and they got a nice golden bottom and then just look at the inside. Isn't that ever delicious? Now this one here, I got warmed. I got some butter over it. Off here to the side, I got some of my chicken soup. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that apple butter on this one, cause this one I'm just gonna have for a little. I'm gonna eat and run with this one. And that's it, as good as it gets, with a nice cup of tea. Can't get any better have a taste of this I know and they break off in single pieces so what's so wonderful about these four leaf clover um, but, uh, bread buns you don't need a knife you can just pull them apart knife to put the butter on or just dip them in the butter doesn't matter mm -hmm. I'm gonna I pass. just went a one quick second there till I jumped in I'm gonna I'll pass just this grab one this piece ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you oh, know yeah. you couldn't do without it mm. it's I mean they're delicious and um, I can't tell you enough good about them other than the fact that you can freeze them, you can rewarm them. Keeping them in a freezer bag and freezing them would last longer. But if you're having a nice big pot of soup and you want to put down a basket of these four leaf clover buns like this, absolutely delicious, perfect. I gotta have some tea. I'll also share those links with you for the cold plate and the apple butter if you want to to make that as well. Also the recipe for these four leaf clover bread buns is going to be posted at the bottom of this link. Just hit the link saying see more and as well our subscribe button is there. If you haven't already done so we urge you to subscribe and you get to see all of our delicious recipes. You can also get this recipe and many more on www.bonitaskitchen.com, our Facebook page, and of course, always here on YouTube. 
I won't keep you any longer. I'm going to put those bread buns, those four leaf clover buns in the oven, get them baking. And I can't wait for you to make yours. Your time is precious. Thank you for sharing it with us today. Everyone, please stay safe. And thank you from our kitchen to yours. You have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary. Always an open door. Benita's kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen.